These are AirPods. These are OnePlus Buds. These AirPods look like AirPods, sound like AirPods, and behave like AirPods, and they start at $159. These OnePlus Buds also look like AirPods, sound like AirPods, and behave a lot like AirPods, and they cost just $79. But are these OnePlus Buds true AirPod alternatives? Well, OnePlus Buds may be designed for Android phones, but they work surprisingly well on iPhones. Hey guys, this is Titus. Today we are looking at the OnePlus Buds, but in the eyes of an iPhone user. If you use an iPhone every day, should you really consider OnePlus Buds? Well, let's find out. Also, I got a new haircut. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Before we move forward, I want to mention that I am a OnePlus brand ambassador, but I want to assure you that I bought these OnePlus Buds with my own money, and I'm going to do my best to give you a fair comparison between these and AirPods. Okay, now to the video. Let's quickly compare their basic features. If you haven't picked up on this already, the design of OnePlus Buds are very similar to AirPods, but they aren't identical. The OnePlus Buds are a good bit bigger. The tips are a little bit larger and they go a little deeper into your ears when you wear them. Even the case is bigger, but despite that, they feel identical in my ears. There is no way I could tell the difference between these two in a blind test. OnePlus Buds get more battery life in the buds themselves. They claim up to seven hours and that seems about right in my testing and AirPods get up to about five hours and that also seems about right. Now both of these have their cases for keeping the earbuds charged and with the AirPods case you get about 24 hours of battery life and here we go again a OnePlus One Ups AirPods with about 30 hours of battery life. OnePlus Buds offer fast charging and that gets you about 10 hours of battery in 10 minutes. I tested that and at this point that claim seems about right. AirPods don't have that. But Apple does offer a different version of AirPods that have has wireless charging for an extra cost, of course. And that version of AirPods cost you an extra $40. Ouch. You could buy a OnePlus Bud for that if they sold them by the Bud, which they don't. And if you're curious, OnePlus Buds do not offer wireless charging. If I had to pick between fast charging and wireless charging, I think I would go with wireless charging. But that picks a lot more different when you're talking wireless charging versus fast charging and $120. In that case, I'm definitely leaning fast charging and the massive savings. The sound quality between these is extremely similar. I went back and forth between these for over an hour and I concluded that I just slightly liked OnePlus Bud sound quality a little bit better. I think there's just a tad more clarity in the sound. Well, what would happen is I would listen to a song and again, they sounded really similar, but then I'd get to some complex parts where there's a lot of different sounds coming together and I could just hear some more clarity in the OnePlus Buds. Again, I don't want to even get their fill insert. It was a super close battle. But I will point out the mic quality for phone calls was much better on AirPods. Not a ton better, but it was better nonetheless. Okay, let's get to the main point here. How well do these actually work on iPhones? Actually, surprisingly well. Double tap to go to the next track or video works great. Double tap to answer phone calls works great. Double tap to hang up calls works great. And my favorite feature, Pulling them out of your ears to pause works fantastically. Placing them back in also works great as well. This even works when you're just using one bud like I am here. Just pull this one bud out and it pauses. The gesture experience of the OnePlus Buds is virtually identical to AirPods when you get them out of the box. I actually made an error in my last video when I said that I wish you could single tap the OnePlus Buds like you can on AirPods to do gestures. AirPods don't work like that. You actually have to double tap them as well. Sorry about that. When comparing these to the OnePlus Buds, it's actually been the first time in a while that I've used regular AirPods. But yeah, the experience between these two is totally identical out of the box. This all sounds great. Where do I sign? Well, that leads me to the trade-offs. If you decide to use OnePlus Buds with an iPhone, the setup process isn't going to be nearly as fancy as with AirPods. AirPods get a quick, nice, fancy setup with all these animations and flair. Whereas with OnePlus Buds, you're gonna be setting them up like a Bluetooth device deep in the settings menu. To me, this isn't a huge deal. Once you connect the OnePlus Buds to your AirPods, it's not like you're gonna need that fancy menu anymore. They'll connect each time you open the case. But another downside, you have no no idea what battery level your OnePlus Buds are when you're using an iPhone. You're kind of on your own to keep these charged. Again, as mentioned previously, you do have fast charging, so if you do run into some dead OnePlus Buds, that does help quite a bit. 10 minutes gets you basically a day's worth of battery. From WWDC 2020, we found out that Apple is still working on AirPods. In fact, they're adding an ability to allow AirPods to more easily switch between Apple devices. If I understood this feature correctly, what's going to happen is let's say you had your 
AirPods connected to your iPhone, but then you started watching a movie on your MacBook. Well, the AirPods will get the ability to smartly know that you're watching a movie on your MacBook and it'll just switch to them. It'll have some kind of auto detection feature. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's really cool. I'm a little curious how that might impact the battery life of AirPods if the AirPods are gonna have to constantly sense what all of your different devices are doing, but it's really cool nonetheless. And if you do go OnePlus, you don't get that cool feature. But OnePlus does have a really interesting feature baked in where you can hold down on them for three seconds and it'll switch between two different devices. And this works, I absolutely tested this. I connected it to this iPhone 8 here and my MacBook and I could easily switch between the two. I did mention in my last video on OnePlus Buds that I had issues getting that auto switching feature to work at first and then later it worked fine. I think I figured out what happened. What I think happened is that I accidentally factory reset these buds when I was trying to connect them between multiple devices. You see, what you do to factory reset them is you hold this button down on the back for 10 seconds. And that's probably what I was doing. So basically, I was connecting them from one device to another, but I was holding down the button too long and factory resetting them over and over, and it would just forget the previous devices. Another downside when you compare them to iPhones is with an iPhone, you have the ability to customize what the double taps on each AirPod do. But you're not totally out to dry with OnePlus Buds. If you as an Apple user decide to associate with us OnePlus using Swine, you can connect your OnePlus Buds to someone else's OnePlus phone and change the double tap settings exactly like you can with AirPods and iPhones. And once you reconnect your OnePlus Buds to your iPhone, those new settings will follow you. Just don't be a Nimrod like me and accidentally factory reset your OnePlus Buds or else you're gonna be bugging your friends a lot. Also a cool note, if you choose Voice Assistant as one of your new double tap options on your OnePlus Buds, that'll activate Siri. But on that note, that does lead me to another slight drawback. With AirPods, you can activate Siri with just your voice. You can't do that on OnePlus Buds by saying, hey, I'll give it a second, Siri. I will note that the OnePlus Buds experience hasn't been totally bug free. The first time that I connected the OnePlus Buds to this iPhone, double tapping and pulling out the buds to pause just didn't work. The next day I tried it again and everything worked fine. Not sure what happened there. The last thing I will note is firmware on the OnePlus Buds. So I made a mistake when I first got these OnePlus Buds and when I kicked them to my OnePlus 8, I immediately updated them. And well, I believe you're going to have the exact same experience I had with OnePlus Buds, but I don't know for sure. I don't know if you're gonna run into some issues that I didn't run into with OnePlus Buds because I updated them. You see, you need a OnePlus phone to update these Buds to new firmware. So if all you have is an iPhone, you're not going to be able to update these. Now I did reach out to OnePlus and trying to figure out like what firmware they ship these buds with and if that firmware is 100% compatible with iPhones and they just couldn't get back to me in time for this video. So what I'm gonna do is if you go to the description under this video right now, you will see a note about what I found out so far. I'm gonna keep sleuthing on this and I'll let you know if you can comfortably get these for your iPhone and not need to update them at all and if they'll work just right. If you looked in the description and you do not see an update on this issue, eventually what I'll do is I'm gonna do a post on my channel as soon as I know what the situation is with OnePlus Buds and the firmware they ship with and iPhones. I will eventually just do a post out there to let you guys know if you can comfortably buy these and have a good experience on your iPhone. If you wanna see that post when it comes out, please subscribe and I think you have to enable notifications, hit that bell, and eventually you will get that update if you want it. If you don't want it, then that's cool too. What I'll say for now is worst case scenario, get a friend that has a OnePlus phone just in case you need them later to update the firmware on these so they will work on your iPhone. What's interesting about when you compare these buds is there isn't really a clear winner. OnePlus buds aren't perfect on the iPhone, but they're really good. And if they were the same price, I'd say get AirPods, hands down. But they aren't the same price. Is having access to voice control of Siri worth $80 to you? Is having earbuds that better integrate into the Apple ecosystem worth $80? Is being able to know how charged your earbuds are worth $80? Is better mic quality worth $80? That's the price difference we're talking for a few features. I think there are people that will absolutely conclude that it is worth the extra price because they love Apple products and cheaping out a little and sacrificing on the experience is out of the question. For me, I think 
I'd go OnePlus Buds. I am a bit of a cheapskate and I feel really good when I buy something that's a lot cheaper and gives me almost the same experience. It's like I got one up on them. I don't think the trade-offs are really deal breakers for me and there are some features that the OnePlus Buds have that these just don't have. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It helps a lot. And subscribe if you want more tech reviews like this one. I'm Titus, by the way, and I'll see you next time.